Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the forecast for May 2023 for each life path number. Now, if you're interested in sort of an understanding of the collective energy for May, as well as your own personal month forecast for May, which will include the moon, uh, the full and the new moon, which is also includes the eclipse that's coming up in May, then make sure to check out your personal month forecast, which will be coming uh, for the month of May towards the end of April. So keep an eye out for that. Know that the calculations for the personal months are different to the life path energy. So um, make sure that you uh, do your calculation before you listen to that. If you missed your personal month forecast for April, those are up. So make sure you have a listen because it also includes eclipse energy that we're going to be working with for the next three to six months. So that's important. Okay, so this of course is a general forecast. If you would like a personalized forecast or a personal numerology reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the life path numbers for May 2023. Life path number nine. So I pulled an animal spirit message for you all for the month of May and you got chameleon energy. So there may be something here uh, this month where you need to be a little bit more adaptable, uh, where you need to kind of release control over a situation or, um, you know, something where you're really trying to control the outcome so strongly that you're sort of constricting the energy to the point where what wants to come in for you isn't able to. So there's definitely something here around sort of surrendering to the things you can't control, not to sound cliche, but it does work. <laughs> um, you know, and anything you have to force, you're trying to control. So, you know, if something is meant for you, it's going to flow, right? It doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but it's going to flow. There's going to be some kind of movement. There's going to be some kind of, um, there's not going to be a lot of resistance. So there may be something this month that you just need to kind of take a closer look at. Where is it that you're trying to force something and where do you just need to kind of move with it a little bit more uh, in flow? Also, again, that adaptability. So you might face some changes this month um, that are uncomfortable. And that could just mean getting recognition or having the spotlight on you or and having to step into that spotlight or a leadership role or something, right, that makes you sort of feel uncomfortable. And instead of shying away from it, or instead of immediately, you know, disqualifying yourself or saying you're not worthy or whatever, you know, where can you sort of adapt to the new surroundings, right? Where, where is it that you can kind of step up into whatever it is that you're being asked to step into? Um, you could also be asked with chameleon energy to sort of become the observer of a situation, right? So there may be something where you're so fully immersed in it that you're missing the bigger picture, that you're missing details because you're so immersed into it. And so this could be a month where you're really being asked to become the observer, sort of blend in a little bit, just see, just sort of stand back and see what's happening so that you can make an informed decision on how, you know, what your role is within that situation. Because sometimes we get so fully immersed into something that we think our role is one thing when really, you know, it might not need to be that, that extreme. And so stepping back and sort of blending in with the surroundings and just sort of being the observer and seeing things sort of play out without being too emotionally attached to the situation gives us the opportunity to see things a lot more clearly, to get a greater perspective so that then we can decide what is my role in the situation? What do I want it to be? How invested do I want to be into whatever this is? Um, do I need to be this emotionally immersed in whatever this is or emotionally attached to whatever this is? Um, so it just gives us greater insight and the greater sort of flexibility and adaptability to be able to um, feel like we're, we're in a little bit more control of the environment <clears throat> to where, again, we get to decide you know, our role in whatever this is, we get to decide how we sort of um, participate in whatever the experience is. And so ca chameleon coming through is sort of giving you that opportunity or the reminder that you have the the opportunity to become the observer and 
take some time before you decide how it is, you know, that you want to be uh, participating in whatever that is. Now for you all, the month of May brings about the energy of the three. So this can be a very creative time for you. This can be a very social time if you want it to be. I would say with chameleon coming through though, um, <clears throat> you know, don't be too quick to say no, right? If it's a social engagement that you normally wouldn't attend, this can be a great time for networking, for getting your name out there, for getting a project out there or an idea out there, and then finding the resources to assist you in making whatever that is happen. A new job could come from this experience. Uh, you could meet somebody who is meant to be like a business partner or a partner who is going to um, have a tremendous impact in your visibility in the world. That's very possible as well. Um, but again, just be mindful that you get to choose how you participate in this experience, but don't be too quick to say no to it, right? To sort of say, um, this isn't for me. Um, so no, right? This is potentially going to be a month where lines of communication could open up very rapidly. So people from the past could come in <clears throat> with insights or new ideas or opportunities to heal and release some kind of a situation. Uh, you could also see um, opportunities to share your wisdom through the written or the spoken word. So again, make sure that you pay attention to how it is that you're communicating could your communication skills be enhanced? Could they be better? Could you, is this a great opportunity for you to initiate communication with somebody, whether it's somebody from the past, or if it's somebody that you've had your eye on <laughs> that you want to initiate that conversation with. But again, it's like this finding this beautiful balance between this very big energy of the three, which again is very social and opportunities for travel and communication and networking and collaboration. Um, sort of merged with the energy of the chameleon, which again is sort of in the background, like you know, like blending in, taking everything in, seeing how it is that they want to participate. So for you all, this is going to, I think, be a month where you really need to find your balance between um, how invested you are in something, how um, in the spotlight you are, and sort of where it is that you can kind of stand back and blend in so that you can get a bigger a bigger sense of what's actually happening, right? So then you can decide how it is you want to participate. I think that's going to be sort of the dance for you all this month. And it can feel a little bit like push pull sort of tug of war energy that you're working with. Um, but you know what feels good right? You know, if you're too immersed in a, into a situation to where you're not thinking straight or you're, you're, um, you're not able to see all sides of the situation. So maybe you're, you're taking a biased approach. Uh, that's always possible as well. Um, you might be quick to say no to an opportunity that presents itself to you this month, again, because of those biases, because you're too immersed in a certain way of thinking. So this month could sort of challenge you to, again, become the observer, see things a little bit differently through your interactions with others. Remember, like people can be our greatest teachers. And so, you know, our interactions with others often bring about the polarities, like, you know, different ways of thinking and, um, you know, duality and all of these things. And we're sort of forced to, or challenged to take a closer look at that and see, you know, what are, what are my belief systems and how does that play a role in how I show up in the world? And can that be challenged to the point of me shifting that mindset or those belief systems to something more elevated or something that's much more aligned with the journey of my soul? So a lot could come in for you all this month, nines, especially around creativity, creation, collaboration, social um, experiences and integration, right? Like working with others. Um, yeah, seeing other people's perspectives and inco incorporating those perspectives in some way uh, through observation, right? So incredibly powerful month for you all nines, uh, but potential to make new friendships, meet, you know, meet new people um, that could change your life and change the direction of your life. So be very open to who you meet this month. Uh, and who you decide to invest your energy into and participate with. So I hope it's a beautiful month for you all nines. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.